of a regularly shaped object like this glass pebble here. I can't use a ruler and do length times width times height because it's got a curved surface. So a straight edge ruler is not gonna work. So we're gonna use what's called the water displacement method. I filled my graduated cylinder with water. I've got it flat on a surface, I'm at eye level, I'm gonna measure to the bottom of the meniscus, and it is at 35 milliliters. So I've got my starting volume of 35 milliliters. I'm now gonna drop in this pebble. Notice that the volume level has increased. It's not because I've added water, it's now because this marble is taking up space in this graduated cylinder. So it's displaced or moved the water molecules. So now we're reading more water in here. So I was at 35 and now I'm at 36, 37 milliliters. So how much volume then is in that glass pebble? Well again, it's what's the difference? I was at 35, now I'm at 37. What caused that volume to change? The marble, it took up two milliliters worth of space because 37 minus 35 is two. So the marble, I'm sorry, this glass pebble has two milliliters worth of stuff inside of it where it takes up that much space. But milliliters represents fluid. Is that pebble a fluid or is it solid? It's solid. So we're not going to use milliliters as its volume unit. Instead, we're gonna use cubic centimeters. A cube is a 3D object, like a book, like a box. Those are cubes. And that's exactly what this pebble is. It's a 3D object. So we're really fortunate because water, one milliliter of water is the same as one cubic centimeter. So two milliliters of water difference means that this marble has a volume of two cubic centimeters. So ML equals fluid volume, CM cubed, or CM to the power of three is the volume for a solid.